In the world of design and creativity, it's important to stay connected and up to date with all the dope things around. So I wanted to showcase 16 awesome sites that you'll find plenty of use for. Just before we start, by the way, don't forget to check out the first link in the description down below to check out my everything pack, 26 custom made products made just for you guys as designers and artists. The cool part is of course, we have an awesome Discord community you guys can also just check out, vibe with, learn from, and, and just like get some critiques, all that good stuff. But it is just a single purchase and for the rest of your entire life, you will get any product that I release free no matter what the price is email directly to you guys join the other 7100 and something something plus people and i hope you enjoy it starting off with my favorite sites for free and commercially free fonts if you've ever wondered how to source a bunch of these fonts that i post on twitter like every week it's, it starts with sites like use and modify it's an easy navigated scroll to view font site that shares all looks for each variation without even having to click into the font or anything like that. If you're not a fan of white on black, you can flip it to daytime for the record on the top right little circle icon. It's my personal favorite when sourcing display fonts, but then there's also free faces, which in my opinion shows a bit of variety faces with like an uppercase and lowercase A to kind of get the feeling of the typeface. But if you're looking for like decorative fonts and like heavily unique display fonts, this site has plenty of options for sure. Uncut dot what the f Another dope navigation menu when surfing through sans serif, serif, mono typefaces, and display fonts. This site does offer a unique viewing experience with its numbers and full sentence showcase. I've scrolled on this site probably longer than I'd like to admit, just saying. Next though is Valentine. It's still my favorite site to visit when exploring like apparel fonts that often steer further away from like the normal display typefaces. It doesn't update too regularly, but when it does, it actually offers some genuine typefaces that you won't really see pretty much ever again. And it's also always open source fonts, which is amazing. Then last up isn't really a site, but it's a collection. Now it's actually through the site foundry that I just shared, Valentine, but it's a list of places that they personally source fonts and creators to showcase. Now, depending on your design theory, you might fall in love with a hand a few of these picks and honestly not too many people are aware of this list, so go crazy. Our next category though is assets and resource sites. Starting strong with the only place you should be looking for dope photos to use, not a sponsor, it's Unsplash. I feel like every designer goes through that phase of finding Unsplash and they never turn back. If you often design posters with like storytelling and photo manipulation with like stadiums, buildings, specific locations, etc., it's honestly a game changer. Following the untrend, we also have Unblast next. I need to showcase my work often in decks, and this site, in my opinion, offers some of my favorite mockups. Shout out Mockup World, though. I, I still love those guys, too. However, though, since the sites also link out to other creators' websites to access the download, sometimes you end up finding really cool places to gather more resources along the way. Now, you obviously can't talk resources without Texture Labs. Although, truthfully, I'm not here often because, you know, I, I got my own stuff, everything pack. But for your texture-heavy designers, and most times the ones that just like here to have some fun while they learn, Texture Labs is such a fun place to just gather quality material textures for your next project. Then of course, there's also Resource Boy, a spot for textures, text effects, mockups, templates, all free. Just a good place to know about in the world of free asset searching. And again, this site actually also links out to collaborative projects, so you'll probably find even more cooler spots when exploring. Now, for my personal favorite category of sites to visit, and I, and I visit my share pretty often, it's the inspiration category. Starting hot with eye candy. This site blew up last year with its curated list of motion videography examples and names to draw inspiration and make the best possible mood board on the style of shoot that you would want. Now, you might not care too much of this site outside of like being a cinematographer, videographer, or like a creative director, but if you are or inspired to be, yes, you should visit this place. Next is Logos. Logos. It's pretty much the only place I know of where you can actually search curated dope logo letters in specific A through Z. So if you're designing logos and you need some kind of like specific tag inspiration, this site is so OP. It trumps a place like Dribble for me by like tenfold. Like it, it literally is better than at least Googling S in Google. If you're like that guy, this site is definitely it. Now, following that is a newer site, InspoType. It's a dope place to source free Adobe and custom font pairings. Additionally, with the option, also change the color scheme to help speed up any look and feel branding. I personally made a whole video about color theory and how important it is, and so also is type. So also, and so is type, yeah. Sometimes for a lot of artists, the font pairing is where people get stuck. And hopefully this site helps mitigate that. Now, my last two sites focus a lot on color, real-time color and pigment. Pigment is a doom scroll of dope color schemes that get showcased in a clean and minimal way. Given the options to also even adjust saturation and brightness for those designs that kind of need that certain feeling. And then there's real-time color. This site has a unique color generating experience where of course you can randomize it with like all the colors and just kind of click endlessly until you find something you like. But it also allows you to go a little bit further 
can customize your color theory in specific with like text, background, primary, secondary, and accent color sliders. But for Photoshop in specific, this kind of helps you see your color scheme like a whole picture sort of way. And then of course, I had to say the best for last, sesohq.com slash inspiration for curated mood boards, just like that I've been sourcing for the last 100 in seven weeks. I've sort of stopped going to Pinterest every time I'm looking for designs. I actually go to my own site. Is that weird? No, because I sourced it, curated it. So hopefully you guys can enjoy it too. And maybe like stay away from Pinterest for a little bit until you like need it. Did you, you can use me, you know? But with that being said, that is the end of the video here today. And I just, I just hope one of these sites you visit often. That's, that's my goal here. So with that being said, if you guys are new, do not forget to subscribe and all that good stuff. If you want to be friends, we can be friends. Of course, if you like the video also, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And with that, Siso HQ out. You gotta get a key smile with that. Why did I do? Did I get a key smile and stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys? Later, much love, peace. Enjoy your new fonts. No, your 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 new fonts, resources, and inspiration sites. Later.